Hi, Mr. Mike here from the Sherburn Public Library with another episode of Storytime. Can you tell what the weather's like out behind me? It looks like the sun is out. But we're going to do a poem about the rain. So when it rains and you need to go outside, what should you take with you? Your umbrella. So we're going to do our poem about the rain. Put up your umbrella when the rain comes down. Wear a happy smile and wipe away that frown. Splash in all the puddles and do a little dance. Rain is just the thing we need for new spring plants. And speaking of spring, what's growing on the trees? Leaves. Here we go. Leaves are growing on the trees, on the trees, on the trees. Leaves are growing on the trees. It is springtime. What color is the grass turning? Green. All the grass is turning green, turning green, turning green. All the grass is turning green. It is springtime. What are the birdies building? They're building their nest. See the birdies build their nest, build their nest, build their nest. See the birdies build their nest. It is springtime. Watch the flowers start to grow, start to grow, start to grow. Watch the flowers start to grow. It is springtime. What sound does a duck make? Quack, quack, quack. Little ducks go quack, 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 quack. Little ducks go quack, quack, quack. It is springtime. How about little chicks? They go peep, peep, peep. Little chicks go peep, 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 peep. Little chicks go peep, peep, peep. It is springtime. What do bunnies do? They go hop, hop, hop. Little bunnies go hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Little bunnies go hop, hop, hop. It is springtime. Great. Next, we're going to count our eggs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what's in those eggs? Little chicks. Sing our song. One little, two little, three little eggs. Four little, five little, six little eggs. Seven little, eight little, nine little eggs. Ten little chicks in their eggs. Great. Now, where do we usually see chickens? Do we see them at a restaurant or at a, in a barn? In a barn. Today, we're going to take a look at a, a story that takes place in the barn. Click, clack, moo, cows that type by Doreen Cronin, illustrated by Betsy Lewin. So what kind of animals do we have here? They're cows. And what sound does the cow make? Moo. Okay, how about this animal right down here? It's a chicken. Or you might hear it called a hen. And what sound does it make? Muck, 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 or cluck, 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 cluck. Over here, we have a, a duck. What sound does the duck make? Quack, quack, quack. Now, do you know what this is here? It's a machine called a typewriter. And typewriter has keys that you press and you can write on the paper. It types on the paper. And you'll hear a typewriter in our story today. We don't see typewriters much around today. But on a computer, you might see a keyboard, which is like a typewriter. Okay, so let's get ready for our story. Click, clack, moo, 
cows that type. Here we go. Click, clack, moo. Cows that type. By Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Betsy Lewin. Hear those cows? Farmer, Pro uh, Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety clack moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack moo. Click clack moo. Clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety clack moo. What do you hear now? The next day he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. Oh my goodness. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. that type, hens on strike, who ever heard of a, such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. There he goes. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. <gasps> Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. 
He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Does everybody look warm and cozy? The next morning he got a note. Oh, no, dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, quack, quack. They got one. And that's the end of our story. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Okay. Speaking of cows, cows begins with our letter, the letter C. Here we have a capital C and a lowercase c. Let's sing our alphabet song and find out where C comes in the alphabet. Pardon me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? So did it become at the beginning, the middle, or the end? It was near the beginning. In fact, it was the third letter, A, B, C. One, two, three, the third letter in the alphabet. Can you think of some things that begin with the letter C? Let's go look for the letter C. Let's go look for the letter C. Let's go look for the letter C. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up C's and putting them in our basket. Picking up C's and putting them in our basket. Picking up C's and putting them in our basket. Way down yonder in the library. Okay, let's see what begins with C. Here we have a car. Car begins with the letter C. Oh, here's a yummy C. Cookie! Cookie begins with C. Up next, we have a cat. Cat begins with letter C. What sound does the cat make? Meow! cat. Up next we have a piece of corn. Corn begins with the letter C. Here we have a different type of animal. Some might think it's a donkey, but no, it's not a donkey. It has two humps. And sometimes they have one hump. They're called a camel. And camels live in the desert. They can store water in their humps. So that's camel begins with the letter C. And here we don't see a lot of these anymore, but it's a camera to take pictures. Camera begins with the letter C. And here we have the letter C and a lowercase c. So capital C, lowercase. Oh, capital begins with the letter C as well. And we talked about, we have cows. Cows begin with the letter C, and if you have a moment, you can come to the library and make your own cow. I have a couple of cow kits left. Ooh, there's another C word, couple. Okay, you can come build your own cow. And then a couple weeks ago, we made our own crowns. Crowns begin with the letter C. Also, if you come to the library, you can check out some books that begin with the letter C. Here we have Thunder and Cluck. Smart versus Strong. These are fun, silly books. But Cluck is the letter C. In fact, it has a C in the middle, too. One, two. Oh, here's another fun book. The Three Canadian Pigs. Canadian begins with the letter C. Here's another one of my favorites, even though it's not the time of year. Murray Christmas has a C at the beginning of it. Another fun, silly book. 
Mr. Watson's chickens. Now that doesn't quite sound like it begins with that C, but it makes a difference because it's with the H, it makes a ch sound. But there's a C and there's a C here in the middle as well. Mr. Watson's chickens. Here's Chloe's lunar, lunar New Year. Chloe has the letter C. Ah, one of our favorites, Pete the Cat, the Great Leprechaun Chase. There's cat, because C, here's the C, but remember it has an H after it, so it makes the ch sound. So we have case. Oh, and here we have another fun book, Dakota Crumb, Tiny Treasure Hunter. Crumb has a C there. So lots of things that begin with the letter C. Okay, that brings us to the end of story time. Now, we're going to sing about our cows. What do cows give us? Milk. So we're going to sing, instead of teddy bear, we're going to sing milk cow. So everybody get your milk cows ready. Here we go. Milk cow, milk cow, turn around. Milk cow, milk cow, touch the ground. Milk cow, milk cow, show your shoe. Milk cow, milk cow, that will do. Milk cow, milk cow, reach up high. Milk cow, milk cow, touch the sky. Milk cow, milk cow, don't you sigh. Milk cow, milk cow, wave goodbye. Goodbye, have a great day. And keep on reading!